everyone! Oh, welcome to the Unfiltered Gamer live stream. I'm Callie here tonight with my friends Alicia, Hi. Max, How's it going? Caleb, Hello, and Michael will be joining us later as well. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight we have a fun game to play. It is The Goonies Never Say Die, the board game. This game is by Funko Games for ages 12 and up and two to five players. So one player will be playing as the GM and the rest of the players will be playing as various characters from the Goonies uh, going through a campaign style uh, dungeon crawler trying to achieve different objectives and, and solve the mystery utilizing our unique powers based on which Goonie character we are and finding treasure defeating monsters in the dungeons like rats and bats and all kinds of things as well as bosses and um, also utilizing the teenagers uh, powers to help us <laughs> to help us get through and survive before time runs out so Michael will be playing as the GM and the rest of us will be playing as various uh, Goonie characters so my character is Sloth. <laughs> Who are you, Alicia? Mikey. Alright. I'm playing as Mouth. Good fun. And I'm playing as Chunk. Alright, so we each have different abilities and stuff, and then Mike will be the GM. The Goondog Master! <laughs> yes, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Here we have the top down view of the game. So it comes with the board uh, where we're exploring <laughs> the goondocks and our standees or sorry not standees we actually have miniatures mini that are our characters here at the starting area there's different tokens you'll add to the the gm at least will add to the board show what is in the room with us and as we go through and explore more rooms more things will pop up more uh, creatures as well foes and then each of us has a character board which explains shows our health, our how many wishes we can have max, and the different uh, abilities and dice we'll roll for each of the different types of skill checks. We have strength, dexterity, and search, as well as two special abilities that each of us has. Uh, in addition, we have a bunch of different die here, wishes, health uh, damage trackers, and then the teenager ability to help us out. And very important over here is the time tracker. So this hourglass um, denotes basically when time has run out for us to accomplish whatever objective we need to accomplish for that round. So there's four hourglass sort of uh, timers there that the GM, Michael, will be able to use different things to get that timer um, set off, including certain cards where he could roll for a chance to do that, as well as if he manages to get our one of our health down to zero, he'll also get to add a tracker there. Uh, the GM has a board where they're hidden away and uh, can't see sort of the different things that are going on there, but he has tokens, cards, as well as uh, standees with the different foes, and sometimes a mini with a boss character as well. It may be your last weekend together. This time next week, bulldozers will be flattening the goondocks to make way for Mr. Perkins' new county club golf course. Unless by some miracle you can save it. Rifling through Mr. Uh, Walsh's pirate artifacts in the attic, you find an old treasure map and a doubloon with three curious holes in it. The map leads to one-eyed Willie's treasure. Legend has it that Willie escaped a British armada after stealing treasure from the king. They finally caught up with him and trapped his ship, the Inferno, in a cave. His crew dug tunnels through the caves and set booby traps to protect the treasure. Then Willie went treasure mad and killed his crew in fear that they would steal his loot. If Willie's rich stuff is still out there, maybe you can save the goondocks. You follow the map to the coastline and discover the holes in the doubloon lined up perfectly with Lighthouse, Haystack Road, and the Lighthouse Lounge Restaurant. The map is pointing towards the restaurant, and unfortunately the Fratellis, the notorious crime family, have been using it as their hideout. You arrive just as they're about to leave, so now is your chance to sneak in. 
The map and the smell of ice cream guides you to the basement, where you happen upon a small entrance hidden in the fireplace that leads to the caves below. Quick, the Vitellis have returned. Scramble down the hole before they catch you. It all starts here. And so the first part of this is you emerge through the tunnels in the lighthouse and you make your way through the caves and try and see if the map guides you to Willie's treasure. Mm -hmm. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to find a wishing well, which is what we did the first round. We found a wishing well, and the Goonies made their wish. And unfortunately, they did not get their wish, and they, they <laughs> were going to be leaving disappointed. Um, although they did succeed, the scenario. Yes. Uh, then, uh, as they came back with their copper bones, the only thing that you actually got from that scenario, mm -hmm. uh, you stumble upon a bone flute from a secret entrance in the caves. There, you use the bone fruit flute just before Mama Fratelli tries to capture you guys, thusly opening up a new cavern in the goondocks underneath, like, this cavernous area I, here. It was a close game there. <laughs> it was. And then, we're now doing Adventure 3, which is called The Inferno. I guess you can kind of see me there. Good. Yeah. Uh, Adventure 3. <clears throat> the Inferno. The Vertellis are behind you for now, but for how long? They might catch up with you soon because the map shows you've run into a dead end. The faint roar of rushing water can be heard at the far end of the cave. It's a stone water slide, and it looks to be the only way forward. Better hold your breath. Your goal is to use the water slides to find your way to the Inferno and defeat any foes that may be guarding it. Okay. The Goondock Master, or GM's objective, is to start a round with all four of these sand timers at the very bottom. So it's going to look like this. Basically, the sand runs out, and I succeed in capturing Never. the Goonies. <laughs> that would be what it looks like. Look at this. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, there's a couple of rules for this game uh, that are going to be bonuses. But we're first going to talk about how the game works. The Goonies go first, and on your turn, you can choose, uh, you're going you're to choose one of these luck counters from the supply and place it in front of you. And you have a maximum amount of wishes, I should say. Not luck. <laughs> not luck. Wishes. Mm -hmm. And on, uh, uh, after everybody's gathered one of these guys here, everybody's going to be able to go in any turn order that you'd like. And you can take two actions. You can A, move from one location to another. You can B, search. You can search certain things like treasure chests and bones and all that good stuff. You can attack by using the die that you see here based on what you're trying to do. You can uh, take a rest action that gives you a wish token. And then there's a treasure action, which is listed on treasure cards that you get. And finally, adventure actions, which are specific that only I am going to tell. After you take your two actions, each player will do the same thing, and it goes to my turn. On my turn, I'm going to get uh, a GM token. I can activate all the bad guys. I'll draw a card, play a card, and then discard down. If I want, I can use my tokens, though, to draw extra cards. Uh, mm -hmm. and play extra cards in an attempt to stop the Goonies from achieving their objective. And I'm going to be playing as all the bad guys put together. In this game, you're going to be playing against rats and bats and maybe a few extra things as well as we go on. And that's basically the idea of the game. Try and complete your objective, which is getting to the Inferno, which who knows what that is? And defeating whatever What's the there? Inferno? Anybody know? Fire. No. <laughs> what is it? If... I had to take my guess for how the game's going. The Inferno would be the octopus. Nope. What is it? <laughs> Nobody knows? All right, well, I guess it'll be it'll be a surprise for all of you, but not for those of you who watch The Goonies. I did watch it, but it was a very long time ago. I played it literally before the stream. <laughs> I was playing the game. We were playing the game. Well, and I wasn't <laughs> even facing the TV, so how could I have seen it? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so there's some special bonuses to set up. Okay. I'm going to mix this with the water slide exits. These are the exits. There's an A and a B, and I'm going to place mm -hmm. them next to the game board, face down. Mm -hmm. Whenever you use a water slide, you're going to randomly take one of these, and I'm going to and flip it over, and I'll place it where it goes, and that's okay. where you're going to slide to, okay? okay? I'll replace it with a new one. You can always take an entrance to an already previously explored water exit, um, and uh, you can all, all whenever you get a, a, a new exit, uh, you can pl I'll place it out here as well. So you'll be sliding around the board here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, after you place the exit, place the Goonies figure in that room. When a Goonie is placed in a new room, it's considered explored. I set up the room as normal, and from the remainder of the adventure, whenever a Goonie uses a slide, they can choose the slide to any room on the board with a water slide exit, or flip over a new exit uh, token next to the game board and slide into that new room. Okay. And it plays the gameplay similar as to that works. Now, as for everything else, you will guys will learn and explore just as well as the audience does. Any questions? No? Great. Let's begin. <laughs> okay, Goonies go first. Uh, we already start at max, 
uh, of our wishes, so we don't get to draw a wish on our first turn, but um, we'll now choose someone to go first and take two actions. So if we look at the room here, there is a treasure chest that we can search, and Alicia is playing Mikey is best at searching, so I think maybe she should go first. Yeah, I could search it. Um, so I get two green dice. And anyone... what what she needs to roll here are, well, we're hoping for two bones. <laughs> and uh, if she gets one, we will get a consolation prize. So she's using her search dice. Yeah. Yes. Which Does is specific to her character. Does anyone want to help me get another die? So other goonies can yeah. consume okay. a wish token and contribute a blue. <clears throat> up to one die. Of their type. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of their type for okay. that type of check. And max die you can have is three. Two. 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 Uh -oh. And I get a wish token for that. <laughs> so the skull token normally just means the GM, Michael, gets one of his GM tokens. But Alicia's special ability lets her get a wish token as well. Okay, and we got two bones. Right over here. Yay! So that means that we get an item and a treasure card. So Alicia will have those, but at the end of the Goonies turn, uh, we can trade items and cards um, before we end our turn. And then Alicia has Did one more. These? This is gone now. Mm. Yes. Um, okay. That's gone to the GM. And now Alicia has one more action. She can do one more thing. Okay, I'll, I'll go down to slide. All right, All right, so you choose one of the exits. So you choose one of these guys here, and then you reveal it, and I tell you where it goes. A. Okay, that one is going to go right here. Oh. Well, like this? Just in the room? Sure. Yeah. And you're going to get a treasure here. Oh, and nice. you're treasure going chest. to get this. Nice. And a passage. you're going to get that. So this token here denotes that this is an unexplored room. And this here is a passageway connecting this room to this room. Mm. So I'm out of actions, um, but the next person can come and search this room. Mm -hmm. So Caleb has the blue next. search. So I can, if you want to go over there, I can give you one of my green dye. Okay, I'll go over there, take the so entrance. Caleb is taking the entrance and choosing to use the exit that's already available. So that's one action to move. And then I'm going to search. Okay, and on his um, board there, we see Caleb gets two blue die for searching. And Alicia just spent a wish token to add a green die, which is her level of ability for searching. And we'll see if we can get at least two bones. And we can only have three dice. Correct, yes. And four. we got it, four. <laughs> Okay, so remove the search, the treasure chest token there. And um, Michael will hand us a, hand Caleb an item and a treasure. All right. What are you thinking, Max? Should we all try to stick together? Uh, uh, he can't, he, that entrance only leads to one exit. So you'll oh. have to find a new entrance new in order to get, get to a new exit. Okay. Oh. Okay. I All thought right. you said you could go to any exit from there, from an entrance. That's only once they're explored. So it says, Goonies in a room with a water slide entrance token may take an adventure action. Oh, okay. To slide to another room. Mm -hmm. Foes cannot use water slides. When a Goonie uses a slide, the Goonie may flip over one of the water slide exit tokens next to the game board. Place the exit token in the room shown on the adventure map with the corresponding letter. Then replace the exit token next to the game board with uh, exit token C, and you'll mix them up. And the next time, you'll place it with D. After you place the exit, place the Goonies figure in that room. 
When a figure is placed in a new room, it's considered explored, set the room as normal. For the remainder of the adventure, whenever a Goonie uses a slide, they may choose to slide into any room for the, on the game board with a water slide exit token, or to flip over an exit token next to the game board and slide to that new room. So I think it's once all of them get revealed, then you can go Okay, anywhere. okay, so we have to go through this one. So I might as well uh, go unless you want to go first. No, you can one. go first. Okay. One movement. And then two movement. And Uh-oh. we'll see what's in the room. Oh, uh, you activated yeah. my trap card. After a Goonie moves through a passage, place a rubble token on that passage. Okay, now we got rubble blocking the way, which means we can't move until we clear the rubble, rubble which requires strength. Um, I'm out of actions, though I can't use my, my, my strength is strength <laughs> to get rid of that yet. Well, looks like that'll be up to me to sit there and yeah. clear that path. Because you're the next best. Do you want me to move you? Yep. So go ahead and move me down the water slide. And then I will use my strength to clear out the rubble. But before I do, I'm going to use one of my ability cards to make Michael discard one of his cards randomly. Alright, so for your strength, roll and two my blue. Strength is two blue. Make sure you roll on the map there. So can see. One. One. Which is enough that to remove one it. piece of rubble. There is only one. Yep, yep. that's what I mean. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> <laughs> and that will be the end of my actions. So it is Michael's time to wreck havoc. Okay. Oh, and you, so walk, you walk else? through there. Yeah. No, you, you walk through there, so there's something that's going to pop up. Okay. Mm-hmm. So whenever you walk through a location, Oh, no. Things are gonna spawn. <laughs> oh, no. So we've got two bats, which have three health, and there's another passageway there with some rubble on it. Okay. There we go. All right, my turn. Yes. So I am gonna gain a GM token. Then I'm gonna activate all the foes, which is great. Thank you so much, Mouth. Wait, just walking. you didn't get to trade yet. So I was told that it was my turn. I'm going to attack Max with both of my figures, one at a time. You mean me. I'm in the one in the room. Sloth. Oh, you are? Yeah. Mm. I have eight health. <laughs> the most. No, we're going to fly over here. <laughs> so I get one movement for each and one attack. I'm going to go ahead and attack Max. So go ahead and give me two red dice. And I'm going to spend a threat token to upgrade my die. So I can upgrade from a red to a blue. And Max is going to take one damage. I'm going to use one of my wish tokens to mitigate that damage. All right. And then I'm going to attack him again, spending another threat to increase my die roll. Upgrade, yes. For two more damage. And I will mitigate both. Perfect. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and draw a GM card. Hmm. And I'm going to play my one card for my turn, which is going to be Dreadful Momentum. It lets me draw three more GM cards. And my turn is over. So most actions that we're doing to work together, we have to be in the same room in order to do that. Like helping each other with die and, um, and or some of our special abilities as well. Everyone gets a wish token. token. Yes. Okay. Well, I can upgrade. One of my abilities is whenever I spend a wish token to upgrade a die, I may upgrade two dice instead so I can turn my blue into green to attack. Go for it. I think that would be good. Okay. One. <laughs> so we have these damage counters here. We'll put one next to one of that the bats. there. And you have one more action. What would you like to do? Maybe 
maybe attack again. Use a card. <laughs> Mm. Attack again. You upgrading again too? Yeah. Okay. I get two green. And which oh. you guys say which each attacking the same one, right? Yeah. Okay. The same <laughs> one. So two. So that'll do it for that one. Alright. Goes back to Michael. Um do you want me to attack the bats? I think yeah, you guys should take your turns mm -hmm. first before me in case I need to go back and help you. I'll do the turn then I'll go after the bat. Okay. I have a little bit stronger of attack, so Do you want me to give you one? That a is red one? clearly up to you if that's what you would like to do with your wish tokens. Sure. Alright. I will collect myself another red. Going for the remaining bat. Doing two damage to the bat, and Mike will get a GM token. Okay, so the bat has one health left. Thank you kindly. <laughs> also, I expect the truffle shuffle <laughs> to occur at some point throughout this game. That would be well, Caleb, Chunk right? Well, is Caleb. <laughs> All right. I will do another attack to try to wipe out the remaining bat. No. And I win. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's but up, up to Alicia. I will use one of my ability cards to make Mike get rid of a token. Ouch. Ow. Not so bad when you gave me one. Yep. Okay, Alicia. Uh, attack the bat. Can anyone give her yeah, something? Yeah, you want to upgrade to... You want a blue one? Sure. And then... I'll upgrade that to a green one. Nice. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, good. Ooh, good thing you got the green one. <laughs> hey. It was almost bad. Ooh, why'd you kill my bat? <laughs> because it was in the way. Hey, you have one more action. Okay. Um, well, the thing is... I was going to give this one to Caleb. But then he won't be... I'll give it to you later. Okay. <laughs> Um, and then it's just me left, so we have some rubble block in the Did way. Did you move through that room there, Alicia? Yeah. After Goonie moves through a passage, an abrupt cave-in plays a rubble token on that passage. <laughs> All right. Just going to slow you guys down a bit. Nice. We need a rubble, rubble token. But isn't... You have them. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, my turn. I'm going to go after the rubble. Well, I'll go after the rubble here first. My two die. Got it. Okay, take that one off. And then for my second action, I'll go after the rubble here. I don't have anywhere to use this. I can't upgrade them anymore. <laughs> that, that, that one action was to open the rubble then you did? Oh, so yeah. you helped them out. Mm -hmm. oh. And now I'm going to go for the rubble here. Two. That'll do it. Got Four. It. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. Now the way is clear for us. Go ahead. See what uh, yeah. lies on the other side. <laughs> well, that's all of the actions. I'm going to, um, since we're done, I'm going to give you this, Callie. Okay. Thank you. Let's get some treasure. And now, Michael's turn. All right, I'm going to gain a GM token. Yoink. Alicia gives me the same card every game. <laughs> <laughs> what? It was useful. If it's a useful card, there's no, you know. I'm going to activate foes that don't exist. I will draw a GM card. I give Caleb the same card every time, too. <laughs> because it's most useful for Caleb. <laughs> it's true. I'm going to play the, the card called Submerged, which says that I can place a flooded token in any explored room. Oh no. Don't worry. No big deal. That one, of course. And it says, when a Goonie is in a room with a flooded token, they must spend two wish tokens instead of one when upgrading a die or giving okay. teamwork. Uh, and then, I'm going to spend one of my tokens to play an extra card. And I'll play the Underwater Lurker. <laughs> Shuffling. Uh, if a Goonie is in a room with a flooded token, I do an end of his nigh roll. So this will come out. And I get three red dice, and I'm going to need two bones. And if I get that, I'll push one of these down, which is one out of four to win the game. I'll spend two extras to upgrade these two red dice into blue ones. 
prepare for success. Three bones. Oh, oh no. Oh, the sand timer runs out for all of us in this life. Hmm. Okay, one fourth of the way to running out the clock on us. I'll spend one more token to play Dreadful Momentum, which lets me draw three more GM cards, and from there I will pass. Wish tokens. Okay, everyone grab the wish token. All right, I'm going to say I'm going to go first. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to double move my character from where I am. Well, no, you have to move one move at a time. You have to move one. Move my... Uh, move, move me into the flooded area. Stop. No. Submerged. After a uh, Goonie moves into a room that's flooded, I'm going to get two GM tokens. Okay. All right. Now we have to spend two wish tokens to move out No, of it? it's just two. Oh. It's just two wish tokens in order for you to upgrade a die in that room. Oh, okay. okay. No, you said teamwork. Uh, Team two wish tokens instead of one upgrading a die or giving teamwork. Or giving teamwork. Oh, okay. So giving die or upgrading die. And then my second action, I'll be moving into the yet unexplored room. All right. Another trap. <laughs> oh, you've What's activated in my trap card. An entrance appears. It's a water slide. Yay. And also Bill and Ted. But not the ones you're thinking. It's two big giant rats. <laughs> That's what I was expecting. Right over here. Which right is why over I there. wanted to go first. You may continue. So, oh, yeah, so no, none of that. Now, I'm going to use my last action to stun a foe in my room. Wasn't it, wait, is that a free action? Yep, yeah, that's um, free. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be able to stun one of the rats. All right, we need a stun token, GM, please. Here you go. I was gonna put it over here. And uh, go ahead and check while while they were doing their turn. Go ahead and check the rules on the water slide, so I'm not incorrect. Okay. Okay, I will go next. Moving here, I'll attack the rat that is not stunned. Okay. Your strength is yep. blue. I will give you. A wish token to give you a blue dice. Okay. And then I can use two to upgrade this red to green. Roll the colors. Two. Two damage. To this rat. And that is it. I moved and attacked. All right. I think I probably want to do the same thing. Are right, these rodents move. of unusual size? <laughs> yeah, they're very large. What <laughs> movie is that from? And Jason's right. commenting on that. Rodents of unusual size. I'm going to attack this rat here. What is it from? Why am I? No one knows. Yeah. Rodents no. of unusual size. It's, no. It's this. Bit, yes. It's a. It's oh. It'll Three. hit my tongue. I defeated the rat. Why am I, like, not remembering this? My rat! How dare you kill Bill? <laughs> or was that Ted? I don't know. All right, Caleb, you're the last one. <laughs> so okay. you can just move twice. One, that's my first action. <laughs> Two. Oh, it's Princess happen? Bride, Callie. Does anything happen? It's in the it's in the it's in the swamp. Oh yeah yeah yeah. It's in the okay. it's in the fire swamp. The the yeah. rodents of unusual size. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jason. Is that what it's uh -huh. called? They called rows. Hmm? The rodents of unusual size. I think I don't know. I remember they had an acronym too. Anyway, good movie. Uh, it sounds like you can go to any exit from any entrance. Okay, well that's how we'll play then. I mean, I don't know if you want to go we by yourselves. We wouldn't want to go back to the other. Is it just, is it my turn now? Did you guys just? Uh, I'm gonna say for Caleb. Make sure you have you don't Thanks. have more than your max wishes. I wonder if it's the one that you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna discard this to get two wish tokens. Okay. 
Right. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a GM token. I'm going to activate all the foes. <gasps> I have a rat still? It's, it's that one you, <laughs> it the one you Yes, yeah, so I figured it was going to be that. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to stop you guys. The rat is done during Michael's turn, so... But that doesn't no, mean it won't done. come after us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to just move on to drawing a GM card then. Mm-hmm. He might get a card that allows it to do something. Okay, I'm going to spend two of my tokens to make an end is nigh roll called Willie's Ruination. Which will get me halfway to winning the game already. I like that. And we're going to upgrade one of the die. So two red and a blue. Is this enough? Is this going to succeed me here? One, two, three, four, five. Five. It's so good. And this is three out of six, 50 50. Yes, sir. Inconceivable. Another one. <laughs> Another one. All right. Give me no. Ruination. Oh. Yep. One, two, three. <gasps> and it sinks below, cutting your time in half. Oh, no. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am done. Okay. Remember, if this timer gets down yeah. here and my turn starts, I win. All right. Get a wish token. <clears throat> Let's keep going with the same How about you? Plan. Yeah, you go first. I I'll... will go first, but before I go first, I've got nothing to say, which allows me to refresh my action cards. Okay. And but not use any. Not mm -hmm. use any this turn. But for my first action, I'm going to go down the entrance to the water slide. Wait, you're not going to get the rat first? It, It's stunned. We don't necessarily it's need to. It's not stunned anymore. Yeah, it'll and come we're after we have halfway <laughs> time. We can kill it if you guys like. Um, Because they can move and right. yeah. follow. I'll at least do one can, 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 can they go through the water slide? They can't go through slide? the slides, but I'm sure there will be other ways for them to get back to Come after yeah, us later. Pass and I'll spend open. a wish so you get a green No, well. just leave it. So maybe leave you get it. It's just a little rat. No. no. <laughs> Two damage plus Mike gets a GM token. Um. Okay. When. Oh. I discarded that card. Okay, I'll take a GM token. One right. token. So, yeah, you should move and then someone else attack. Yep. Okay. So, I will go down the water slide. Caleb, hand me the token that's next to your wish tokens. Flip over that one. Is it C. All okay, right, Michael, Michael, where is exit C? Exit C, you'll find located, kind of reminds me of that, uh, what's that, te the hit Forbidden Temple? Oh, yeah. Uh, is in the top left, my top left. So Callie is in the bottom left for Callie. No, that's my top right. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that's C. All right, and that is where I'm going. Uh, and you're going to stumble upon something deadly and dangerous. A rat? A treasure uh, chest. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to give you an entrance as well. Oh, oh a passageway. Well, yeah, a passageway. Sorry. This way? No. Nope. Yeah. And then that. All right. Hmm. Go ahead and open that. No big deal. Mm. All right, but that is the end of what I can do for my turn. Okay. It's a free treasure. Mm. I can go ahead and try to kill the rat. Yeah. There is your other green okay. die. I'll do two green die for my strength on the rat. Got two out of four health. You'll never defeat me. Oh. Got it. Okay, you All defeat right. me. <laughs> Bye bye, Mr. Rat. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and and Slide. follow. You know, I go to a different entrance or exit. Uh, I don't know if we by wanna yourself? split up. I, yeah, the big character who protects everybody needs to go by themselves somewhere. <laughs> no, because I need to protect. The <laughs> that's how. Other weak that's how one. Michael will win is if yeah. we split up. Okay. Um, <laughs> Caleb's the one with the blue surge. That's okay. I'll go here. And okay. then search that. Um, oh, you will. Yes. But wait. Okay. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Michael likes to be Trixie. 
Um, should I just roll this, or do you want to give me one? I only have red for search. Yeah, I've only got reds yeah. for search. Well, okay. I have blue I can, for search. I know, but you're over there. Okay, oh, I'll do yeah. one. And you can get a red. Okay, I'll upgrade it to blue. All right, roll them up. Two, Two. perfect. <laughs> uh, after you've made that search action, before I give you anything, you've unfortunately stumbled upon some falling boulders. Oh no! Go ahead and make a dexterity two check, and everybody else in that room. And if you fail, you'll take two damage. Dexterity. Okay. All right, you so go first. Dexterity, you have the best one. Good thing Kale's not there yet. <laughs> you, you got, got it. it. Next. Nice. Okay, then Alicia. Can I upgrade one? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that. A green and a blue. Oh, no! that's two tokens for me. Thank you. Two oh. tokens for me, too. Okay. But you take two damage. Ah. Oh, she gets damage from that? She didn't pass the check. Okay, I just have two red for dexterity, and but that's I will all right. Give you aid to give you a green. Okay, thank you. Oh, I only got one. Only one? Yeah. I'm sorry, that's two damage. Two damage, even I got one. You Aww. gotta get them all. Oh man. I will use one token to mitigate one of them. Just one? Yeah. Mm. But the bowlers don't stop falling. They keep falling for another dex two check from both of you. Oh. All, three, all three of you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. This is getting more wow. difficult. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the token, though. All right. And I'm gonna I will spend take a token two. to. You're not going to get rid of your luck token? <laughs> no. No wish? Okay. All right, Alicia. You got yeah, it. I good. Did it. Okay. All right, Callie. Um, dexterity. I can I use, or I could use this one. Uh, yeah. I mean, for how fast he's going through that, definitely. Yeah. So could. I'm gonna evoke, <laughs> invoke one of the teenagers to help us. Andy, gonna allow me to add a green die to any dexterity check. They won't save you. It might. It might. And got it. Did. it. Perfect. Okay. Wow, right. you're lucky the boulders have stopped falling. Okay, good. But the problem was that after the boulders fell, it made a hole in the room with a collapsing floor. Um. And I want to place the pit token in that room. Ooh. The pit token states that when the pit token's in place in a room with a goonie or goonies move into it, they must pass a dex one or they're trapped. So everybody in there do it. Dex one. Oh. Can I have the other green dice, please? Yeah. And then after this, Alicia, you can get your treasures. <laughs> you yeah. passed. I passed. Uh, good Michael job. Thank you token. for the token. I you passed. Pass. I'm just looking for free tokens from you guys. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, should I upgrade one? Yeah. Uh, you don't want to fail this. So There's no reason uh, to get I'm going to give you a green. Okay. That helps. Okay. Thank you. Got oh, it. Phew. Oh, that saved you. Didn't need yeah. it, but... All right. Double save. Okay, Um. that's it. Enjoy your treasure. Hope it was worth it. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to the entrance. As you walk through the water slide, you slide safely. Well, now he entered the room with the pit. Ooh, right? I'm well, use yeah, I yeah. slid safely, though. <laughs> My treasure says, whenever you take an attack action, upgrade a die for free. Oh, nice. Um, so I'd have to do dexterity? Yep, just yep. roll a dex check. No, I don't think so. Discard to pass a dexterity check without rolling dice. All right, give me all your discarded stuff so my table looks nice. All your... And there's a token there. <laughs> So oh, that was one. Save that for a harder one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I have Is everybody's turn over? Card for something. No, I um, still have one action, right? Yep. Yeah. You moved. Yeah. Unless good. that card you used was an action card. No. No. No, it wasn't. Then we're good. 
Um, the oh, only problem... Can... No, if I go into the other room, you'll attack me with your creature. If, it, if there isn't in there. There wasn't <laughs> any in this room. But I mean, they're more likely it, to be there. But having <laughs> it opened up so that way we know what we're walking well, into yeah, does okay. help Callie. Uh-huh. How does... It's up to you guys. You gotta make a move. Make an action. I don't care what you do. You got ten you seconds. You already have more... Wish tokens. Yeah. You can't you have, get more. You have a lot of wish tokens. Um, okay. Well, I to guess move we'll go. Move. Great. Mm-hmm. Opens up the door. You find another entrance leading north. Or Keep for you. East for the audience. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. Oh yeah, other than two bats. Oh, oh I knew it. It's uh now he's gonna Tom attack. and Jerry. Actually, flock Tom and flock Barry because they're 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 both uh, swarms. Okay, and okay. that's all your actions. Yeah. See, at that point, it's Tweety and Woody. My turn. Thank you. My poor dead bats and rats. I am going to, of course, gain a token. Then I'm going to activate all my units. Activate your bats. Um, who do we have that needs to be smushed? It's Caleb's in the room by himself. And then the other three of us are here in this room next mm. door. So for activating his monsters or foes, Michael can move them once and attack Let's once. go ahead and move over and, and deal with Mouth. Because he's got a big mouth on him. So one or both of them? Uh, one for now. Okay. Moving and attacking. I'm going to go ahead and okay. upgrade to give me a, a, one red and one blue. That's good. Yes. Nothing. And then we'll do the next one. Mm-hmm. And let's go ahead and, I don't know, upgrade another one for red and a blue. Oh, Sorry. give me that. All right. And two damage. Two damage. I will have to take the two damage. How do you like I them out? I can take the damage instead. All right. Here's two. Okay. All right. Uh, my, my guys have, are Three. done moving and acting. I'll go ahead and draw a GM card. A Goondocks Master card. Hmm. I will play Willie's Malediction. Now, normally this costs me two tokens, but luckily, Max has no wish tokens, so I'll get to do it for free. I need three dice, and I'll spend two upgrades. So I'll give me one red and two blue. That's all I'll need in order to successfully get another hourglass. Got it! No. But because oh, he gets an hourglass, we get our card back for Andy. That's true. Enjoy. Oh, oh no. we're running out of time. <laughs> um, and I will spend one token to draw one more GM card, and I will pass. Mm. Why is the three like that? Yeah. It's okay. Continue Flip the turn. It. Turn. Go ahead. Go ahead. Flip it the other way. Go ahead. Okay. But it's ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone gets a wish token. Wish token. Uh, who wants to go first? Should I just go explore the other room? Oh, there should be a question mark here. Where there should go? be. Okay. I'll go first. Uh, Move the dice off the table too, please. We should attack the bats first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can do... Uh, you're already over there. Let's see if we can kill the bats first and then go to you. But I can also, this treasure card for an action, it's do a dexterity attack to a foe in your room or an adjacent room. Okay. Yeah, you should save that in case we can't okay. get them then. Do you want to go after him first or... Yeah, I'll go... I'll go after this bat with my... Just Good. regular dice. Spend those yeah. that time rolling the dice, giving me tokens. Perfect. Oh! <laughs> and I have one more action. I'll go ahead and attack that There you go. One. I want you to stay in that room. Never move. I don't have a lot of wishes, so I'll just... And I wish you'd just keep rolling me dice. Perfect. Ah! Nice. <laughs> the bats are no more. Yeah, that was... They didn't okay. do me much good. <laughs> And then uh, that's I'm all out for action, so. All right, do you want to go next, or should I go? Mm, if you want, you can go. I will go. I will move myself in with Chunk, and then I will use secondary action to move again. 
and reveal a trap. hidden room. <laughs> oh, well, you're going to be pleased to find out that there is an entrance. Yay! And a treasure. Ooh. And most importantly, Uh-oh. Tim the Rat. <laughs> <laughs> And you can remove the token. Okay. Oh. Um, you can attack the rat. He moves I twice. Moves twice. Oh, you move twice. But what, what I can do is I can use my ability and stun the rat. Stun. <laughs> Rather that than my tokens. Poor Tim. Mean, Caleb could have attacked. He still Better. can. Or search. Yeah. Or, yeah. Caleb, you yeah. can you should uh, move in there and search. search. And then I'll give you a green die. Okay. Oh, you're not over there yet. That's my ability. Oh, yeah. Okay, so my search is two blue and one green die. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> <laughs> that that that'll do really. it. Should have gone for the attack, man. <laughs> so this will be gone... And I get a treasure and an item token. Yeah. And then, Alicia, are you just going to move twice? Yeah. Okay. Oh, did you search something? Yeah, yeah. I, I get oh. a, a treasure and an item. Congrats. Um, <laughs> no, I don't actually have anything I want to play. I okay. lied. Okay. It's okay. Wait, 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 who else was? Oh, Max was in there, too. Yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? Falling boulders. Everybody gets a dex to check in that room. I don't want to deprive you of getting to roll free dice. Oh, a oh. miss? That's a damage? And you give me a token. Yep. So is it just one damage or two? It's two damage. Okay. I'm going to upgrade my dice from red to blue by spending a token. Mm-hmm. Well, Max, I want to know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah I'm just going to take the two damage for right now. How much health do you have total? Six? So yeah, so I've got two health left. Good. All I need is one more, one more knockout. Oh, oh no, no Chunk. Oh. Two more damage. No, no damage. Using the wish token. <clears throat> All right, Alicia's turn. Okay. Um. You want me to we gotta move? get yeah. rid of that damage. Move. If you reach six, he wins. Yep. I'm gonna use this item to remove two damage from Max. Cool. Yay. Like Thank you. Oh, I never got my treasure item card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think you deserve a treasure and an item? Yes. yes. <laughs> Fine. Because <laughs> Caleb might want to give it to someone in the room <clears throat> before Michael takes his turn. Okay, that's it. The hourglass runs itself <laughs> down, down and the audience appears to think the Goondock Master has it. Yeah, oh, let me no. see. You can only have two treasure cards each, so we do want to spread them out. Have um, one. I don't um, have any. Oh, that's perfect. So you mm. have. You can have two treasure cards, Cal. Cal. Yeah, yeah. I have one. <clears throat> um, and then I'll give. Mm-hmm. Good choice. Thanks. Secret <laughs> items. <laughs> Okay, GM's turn. Michael's turn. Oh, my turn already. It felt like it was my turn that last round. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and take one GM token. I'll activate all my foes. Stun. Stunned. So go ahead and remove the stun type <laughs> counter. And then I'm going to draw a GM card. And now I can play one for free and use my tokens to draw and play cards. Mmm. Mmm. A bone chilling cackle. From One Eyed Willie. Each Goonie must discard a wish token. Ooh. Ouch. Wow. I'll spend a token to draw a card. <clears throat> I'll 
I'll spend one more token to draw another card. And a final yeah. token for another card. <laughs> I have no more actions left. I pass. Okay. Right. Wish tokens. Wish tokens, get them back. <laughs> Here you go, Wish Cal, you can okay. use the treasure card. Yeah, but, or should I wait for you guys to go someplace else and then use it? Use it now. Mm, it's really can important. if you want. Mm -hmm. I mean, but there is a rat in there. Maybe, oh, you um, me. no, maybe one of us can attack once and then Go move, forward. and then the other person can attack once. I can attack and then okay. move. Okay. So I can, should I upgrade? Uh, I you will only have on one wish. Yeah, okay. we need to keep like one in reserve, <laughs> I feel like. You could use. Oh, yes. We may as well be you use the these. Brad one for the attack. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. This one? Brand. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're going to be able to add a green uh, Use up all those guys <laughs> at the last minute. <sighs> Perfect. Three. Three. Damn it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play Dreadful Momentum. When you give me one token, you give me two. Okay. My next action is to take the entrance. Okay, now before you do that, is there two exits there? There's not. No, there's just one. So I'll take these two and we we'll shuffle them up more. and see what you get. I hope you get not exit D. <laughs> D. Ha! I tricked you. It's where I wanted you to go. It's gonna <laughs> it be. A 50 /50 he probably shot. doesn't even know where <laughs> we're supposed to be going. Well, of course oh, I do. I'm the GM. Well, I mean, you probably didn't look that far ahead. <laughs> I did, oh. actually. Oh. We are doing a stream, after all. There's the Inferno. What is it? It's the ship. Uh-huh. All right, so fly your character over there. And listen to my narrative excellence. Okay. You shoot from the stone water slide and splash into a large subterranean lagoon. You gasp at the sight of a huge pirate ship. This is Willie's ship. The Inferno. As you wade through the murky water, rippling spreads across the lagoon. Wait, did something just touch your leg? <laughs> I'll place the giant octopus figure in the Inferno and place her placard next to the game board with the calm side up. A calm octopus indeed. A calm one. Now we just need just, Data to appear out of nowhere with his boombox. <laughs> We're not using the Data character. <laughs> out here. Okay. Right there. Okay. So this is the calm side. And it says, The giant octopus has four tentacles that must be attacked separately. Mm. Each tentacle has three health and is considered a separate foe when taking damage. Once each tentacle has been defeated, the giant octopus is defeated. And the giant octopus cannot be stunned. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> All right. Do you we wanna... probably want to go join. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, do you want to do your magical number? Yeah, I think I'll... Um... I'm going to use a treasure card, Navigator's Compass, which will allow me to place this goonie in any explored room. I'm going to go join Caleb, <laughs> join Chuck, Chunk here. Wow, I've got at least four votes for me. I better and not let be my discarded. crowd down. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my boarding axe to attack no. one tentacle. Do a strength attack. If this attack defeats the foe, you may do an additional strength attack. So I'll attack one of the tentacles. And does your ability kick off for sloth? Oh. If I oh I do I get get a free attack action. So that's three. Right. Okay. Well, possibly. Do so, you want another one? I have to do the free one okay. first. Since that's when I move into the room. Okay. So I'll attack the first tentacle. Two damage on it. And the sad news is... 
Taunting Vigor, or Daunting Vigor. After a Goonie rolls dice, I get two for every one you roll. Okay. Now I use the item. So you're doing two damage to one of my tentacles? Yes. Oh, no. I'll, I'll <laughs> target the same one. Okay. With this one. Yes. Ah, oh, good. Perfect. Okay. So place a three, three on there. there. That's one tentacle gone. And because I had used the axe, does it count? It counts as a s separate foe, right? Uh, yes. It's considered a separate foe when taking damage. Okay. So then I get a free. Because of the axe, I get a free another attack. Do you attack. want a red die? Uh, you're not. Oh, you can give me a red die anyway. Sure. You can attack again. Yeah, mm -hmm. from the item card that you. Treasure card. Mm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Two more. I didn't want damage. GM though. tokens. <laughs> That's very dangerous right. for him to have that many. <laughs> All right. And then. And that's the end of my turn. Because you did your card for your teleportation, your free action. The other card. Yeah, but they're both action cards. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm done. Cards. Okay, right. do you want me to attack the rat and then move? Honestly, we need to do the damage to the octopus. So yeah. Do move we move leave the rat there? Yeah, just yeah, leave the rat the can the come. Rat. He, it, the rat's going to carry its damage that it has. Well, but it's it going to attack us, though. Well, it can't Maybe, chase us Maybe, if it can down. get to us. Yeah, yeah. if it can yeah. get to sure. us. Yeah, it can't go down the slide. Okay. <laughs> but I kind of want to put a hindrance on Mike's day. <laughs> you want to give a wait oh. for a second. No, huh? we need to get rid of this octopus. I need you guys yeah. to hurt go. my octopus. Yeah, enough. it needs to go, otherwise it's gonna attack us. Well, no, it's just very calm right now. Mm. But on his turn, it's likely to get enraged. Oh. Yeah. So we need to do as much damage right now as we can. <laughs> okay, so I moved. Okay, you gonna attack? I'll yeah. give you a green die. Cool. I get to upgrade one for free, so I'm. And I'm going to use this to upgrade it again, so I'm going to have two green and a red. A bonus die. A then, pirate's Cutlass? Yes. Okay. Which tentacle are you attacking? The one that's almost dead. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? Should I go for a different one? I feel like the more this tentacles one? are alive, the more damage we're going to take. Mm -hmm. So maybe finish off. But then Max yeah. still has his turn. He can. Oh, that's, that's true. Mm -hmm. so he might be able to I'm do gonna, three damage. And you I'm moved through that last one. location, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just I'm gonna drop these cave in and a flash flood. Just put two rebel tokens over there. Over here. Yeah, on the entrance to the water slide. Oh, we need the tokens you have. Yeah. Oh, I know. Here you go. Uh, Which is now going to stop Max from being able to attack the octopus. Mm-hmm. Then I'll just attack that one. <laughs> Two. Three Got it. Oh, good. It's, yep. Two damage, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And a and free then... token for me. I get a token, too. Don't worry. <clears throat> I only have seven. That's barely any. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. We've defeated two of the four tentacles of the octopus. And now it's Max's turn. All right. I'm going to activate my sarcastic joke to make my discard a card at random. Ooh. I don't have any cards. He doesn't have any cards. That's what no. I was wondering. All right. Well, I am going to use my strength to try to remove the rubble. Two. Oh, good. And That's I got enough. Both. And you can. And now I can escape myself down through and join my companions and fellow Goonies. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Hey. Welcome to the Inferno. Wasn't that one action? Nope, that was two. Two yeah, moving you had to and then move. Moving. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. My turn? Uh, unless you want to trade cards. Nope. Okay, you turn. I'll go ahead and take one GM token. Yeah. I'll activate all my foes. And I have two octopuses left. And a rat. Uh, the rat's <laughs> going to just, he's just going to move over here. He's chilling. He can't get to you guys. Okay. Uh, I will roll three blue dice. Let's go ahead and upgrade two of them to green dice. And we're going to swing. Well, I guess Sloth is going to take the damage either way. So Sloth, here you go. One oh, damage. Dude. 
I'll take one damage. We'll upgrade another one from, so it's two blue and a green this time. This is the trick though. You gotta add less dice to get more power. Two yeah. tokens. So that's the, that's my that's tentacles. That's so bad for us. <laughs> okay. I'm going to draw a GM card. The I'll spend another to draw another GM card. I use a lot of uh, cute quotes and stuff mm -hmm. as well. Another to another card? And one to play a card? I'll put a pit token in that room. So take that pit token from the, the previous room. In the lagoon? <laughs> yeah, that's where it goes. All right. When it's placed in there, uh, dexterity one check for everybody or else you get trapped. All right. <clears throat> uh, do mine. Okay. I have cleared. You good. I did it. And right. I get a wish token. And I get a token as well. I feel like Caleb and I are the ones who need help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to use this, Caleb? Uh, use the green die? Sure. Go for it. You still roll your other red one. Yeah. I didn't have you... a red one. Oh, but sorry. But it was a one check, right? Yep. Yeah. So okay, well, good. I'm good. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Why did you just and roll I, it anyways instead of asking for the time? I can either upgrade or someone can... I will give you a green. Thank you. Okay, you move. It won't save you. It's just going to give me more tokens. No. Oh, good. Okay, I got good. it. <laughs> I'll draw two more cards. Two more cards. I will play Flash Flood for another token. Sadly, your We're room flooded. appears to be flooded. Oh, no. The ship will rise. <laughs> While do flooded, you, remember that you cannot... Uh, do you want me to move this one? Yes. You, you cannot spend uh, any tokens to either help people or upgrade dice. I thought you had to spend two. Oh, sorry. Yeah, two. Two. Instead of one. And Alicia only has two. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Don't have enough. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay. Everyone gets a token. I can. Oh, I have two. I can I attack by upgrading my strength. Um, for two green dice. I have an item, the the one that you gave me. So, and I have a free upgrade. Do you want to go first? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do it. So. Okay, I'm gonna attack with a red and a blue. With my free upgrade. I can. Uh, it would cost you both. Here. I know both tokens to give a green. No, it's okay. okay. I I can attack it three times basically because I have an additional action that I'm gonna use. Okay, let's go for this tentacle. A uh, token for me. <laughs> Ooh, a token. <laughs> it's okay. I get one damage over there. <laughs> one damage, and then I'm gonna attack again with my free upgrade because it's for each attack. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, one more damage. One more damage Ugh. to this one. <laughs> no okay. big deal. And then Barely I'm tickling this me. Other one. And then I'm going to use your card. Yeah, I'm using my card. My free Do upgrade. Do you want me to give you a green one now? It might be worth it. Yes. Okay. Two wish tokens. For a green die. Okay. I could also upgrade my red to, or my blue to a green. I toss two tokens. Yeah. We should talk loud enough for the microphone. All right. Okay, so I'm going to attack the, the one that still has three health. Okay, go for it, Alicia. Wow. Yay! <laughs> All right, three. Ow! Okay. Perfect. You'll pay for that insolence. So now there's just this tentacle left. You have yet to see my right. final form. I'll I'll do it. Just the green die, I think. I'm attacking the one health left there. Miss. Perfect. Okay. 
What happens now? I, I don't. I feel like it's probably the not giant repeated. octopus thrashes about and slinks back into the depths of the lagoon. As you board the inferno, it's eerily quiet. Uh-oh. Willie's skeletal crew lies on the deck as if defeated in a battle. You enter the cabin and see a table filled with gold and jewels. Ooh. Seated at the end of the table is none other than the skeleton of One-Eyed Willie himself. This is it. One-Eyed Willie's treasure. The rich stuff. <laughs> the goondocks are saved. After loading every pocket and marble bag with treasure, you hear Mama's raspy voice yelling, Not so fast! Remove the giant octopus figure and placard from the game. He'll be back. <laughs> Yeah, an octopus has eight tentacles, not four. Mm-hmm. Place the Fratellis into the Inferno. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Just when you saw that. <laughs> and the placard next to the game board. No. They don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Never. The, the Fratellis immediately attack each Goonie in the Inferno. And they are going to attack for three blue dice. Sloth. Oh. Uh, Token. (laughs) Token. (laughs) Mikey. One damage. You good? Okay. (laughs) Mouth. One damage. I will... You know what? I will take the one damage. No, you and chunk for two. Um, you, what are you doing? Oh, uh, yeah, decide. I'll I'll just get rid of one damage. Okay. If the Fratellis are stunned, a Goonie may take an adventure action to do a Dexterity one check. If they pass, they escape the Fratellis and place their figure next to the game board. Escaped Goonies are still considered to be in the Inferno. They may give teamwork and continue taking turns as normal. However, they cannot take any actions and cannot be attacked. Read the Goonies' objective. Also, Steph can sock Mama Fratelli. On a Goonies' turn, they may flip the face-up Steph teenager card face down to do two damage to the Fratellis. Nice. We still have Steph up, so that's good. And we didn't use that one. Yeah. (laughs) And you still have an action. Yeah, I still have an action. Okay. So Punch the brothers. If we can do four damage to them, they'll be stunned. Yep. So I, I'm out of tokens, though. So I guess I'm just rolling the yeah, green die. One. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Three oh, damage. Okay. Um, and then who still has a. Turn anyone? Me, oh, okay. And I do as well. Okay. Um, I can do the treasure card. I mean, unless I should save it. Well, I mean, is it something that's going to help us out right now? It says do a dexterity attack to a foe in your room. Probably your, should save it. Your dexterity is red. Yeah. Yeah. So you should give that to Max. <laughs> Here's some blue dice. Roll for fighting. Two damage. Two. Ow! That makes the Fatelli stunned. Stunned. Oh, okay. We had one over here. <laughs> Alright, remember, when they're stunned, you can take an adventure action to do a dex one check, and if you pass, you escape, and you place mm-hmm. the fi- uh, uh, and place your figure next to the game board. You're considered in the Inferno. You can give teamwork and to continue taking turns, but you cannot take actions and cannot be attacked. Do you still have an action? I do. Yep. Do your you objective is to escape the Fratellis. Okay. I can upgrade this. Wait. No, no because we have... We're flooded. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I did it. Okay. okay. So this character is going to escape. You can still help but you can't take any more actions. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it the end of the round? Uh, no, oh, at the end. Oh, I, st- yeah. I still have mine. Mm-hmm. Now, should I escape or... Yes, we all want to escape. Yeah. yeah. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm 
I have nothing to say, so I'm going to refresh my ability cards. So that way I can use those next turn. And I'm going to go for my dexterity. And I got three there, so I will escape. Mouth, Mouth and chunk pack. are safe. Yep. And uh, now at the end of our round, you want to give that to somebody? Give it to Matt. Or you. Or you. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I'm still in there. Uh-huh. I mean, yeah. I can use the dexterity to attack them when they become unstuck. So you've got all okay. your money, and two of you have escaped, but there's yep. still two left, oh, and no. you're not able to pass them. Unless you can get that dex. Now, they are stunned, and so on next turn, you're going to have an opportunity to escape them. Great. Okay. So I have one turn left, don't I? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> on my turn, I'm going to take a GM token. I'm going to activate my foes, but they are stunned, so these will get removed. Then I'm going to draw a GM card, and I get to play one for free. And I will play The End is Nigh, oh, Willow's no. Deceit. And I'm going to do an End is Nigh roll by spinning two tokens. And I get three red dice. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade them from yeah. red to blue to green. Oh. Blue to green and blue, which is everything I have. Two green and a blue, right? And I need two bones. No! Flop, flop, If I flop, flop, flop you guys win. <laughs> flop, 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 flop. Ha! <laughs> Three! Oh, I thought no. No. Oh, no! This was your we last so chance close. to find the rich stuff and you fell just short. Now, there's no time left to save the goondocks. You'll be lucky to ever see each other again after this. You can play again or continue to Adventure 4. But if you do, you're going to have to suffer a little bit of extra difficulty. Oh, no. Oh, we were so close. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Alicia? Why do you always ask me for a Well, because you're right here. So much you're, pressure. You're literally <laughs> next to her as a, as a host, so that's I why. Know. You're the co-host. <laughs> um, it's, it's fun to cooperate with everyone, or I mean to attempt to, but... <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were cooperating well, we just not quite good enough. <laughs> yeah, um, I feel like draw. it really helps the GM to draw the right cards. <laughs> and um, I think if we had been a little faster too, like letting some of the creatures leaving some of those behind and not attacking them, just going for the slides. That would have yeah, helped us a lot. Definitely. I, would, I used you guys to roll to give me tokens, mm -hmm. and those tokens I used to make my cards reduce my sand timer. Yep. And mm -hmm. that is how I had to win the game. And it's, block us. A lot of, you did a lot of rubble this time. It's almost impossible to actually kill you guys. It mm -hmm. is possible, but it's very highly unlikely. So the way to win is to time you guys out by making you guys roll my, my, yeah. my GM tokens. What about you, Caleb? <laughs> this was a little bit more difficult than the <laughs> first and second round. Um, those were a little bit... They were definitely easier. I liked that it was a little bit more difficult. Um, mm -hmm. It was... I mean, it was fun. And we got minis. The minis are super cute. They're good. Yeah. Um, the, the standees... For the creatures, it's funny because, yeah, there's like yeah. giant rats, <laughs> but they're fun too. Max. I think that they're fine. I absolutely <laughs> love this game. I've been a big fan of the Goonies movie ever since I've been little. So being able to play a board game where we can actually play as the characters, Mouth was one of my favorite characters other than Data. You can't hate Data. So Data was awesome. Yeah, yeah, and mouth so snarky and oh, yeah. <laughs> sarcastic. <laughs> Which fits me very well. Yeah, this game is a really solid cooperative dungeon crawler. Mm -hmm. It's made for families, and it is... Um, it it's starts very, out very a gateway. lot easier. <laughs> it's very straightforward as what you have to do as the GM, and I would almost say that the GM is not really a fun role to play. I know it's a negative comment, but it's not an enjoyable role to play because 
you have one way to win, and that is to slow your the the, the cooperative players down and use the cards to uh, roll the dice and get the sand timer, which is a bit of a dice chucking aspect. Uh, the fun part about being the GM, though, is the story and uh, adding the different elements and unique mm-hmm. little twists and whatnot. Uh, that was a lot of enjoy- uh, oh, a lot no, of fun. Oh no, rebels falling from the yeah, cave. Yeah, playing the GM. <laughs> I would have preferred if actually I got to play with you guys and we just had the GM as an AI, which I think would have been more than possible. Having them draw cards mm-hmm. and just roll dice manually, that would have worked a lot better. Um, and maybe one of the players just kind of put the board out as the game progressed, or helped and help a, helped along. Played the GM um, on the side. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that would have been kind of a, a better way of doing things. Um, I mean, I guess you could. There's not really a reason you can't. Right? No, you could. Okay. You could definitely do a full cooperative game. Uh, the GM, especially for the first two missions, uh, were is entirely challenging to play, and uh, you're almost very, almost unlikely to win yeah, just because of the amount of minions. You got a lot less. At least in the beginning, it feels like. The game wants the Goonies to win. Yes, it does. Yeah. Absolutely. It wants you guys to win. And with that being said, I think it should just be a full cooperative game. Otherwise, though, minus the GM aspect, although I do like the story building, the game itself is a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. It's very gateway, very easy to understand, and there's a ton of theme. One thing I love about that's a little unique about this one is how the additional board pieces can come onto the board, even though the board is the same for each campaign, at least so far. And um, that adds a surprise element to it when this whole new component of the board uh, is added on there. And there's a few other ones if you want to sneak peek. Some special rooms that get revealed later. Yes. So Each campaign is going to come with a unique room that you're going to enter. Usually the last room, whatever. Yeah, generally speaking, the last room. (laughs) The wishing well, the inferno, and then there was the the bone flute room. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I had had a lot of fun, though. This game was... um, Thematic, climactic, and uh, was very close. Yeah, the theme is great. And the, the GM board. I like this a lot. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little version of the map. Yeah, it's very decorative. <laughs> and, and it tells you everything you need to know. <laughs> as well for the GM. Now, the one thing I'm not sure of, because I haven't looked through the pieces as they were in the box, I wish they would actually put a uh, token in that's actually the initial doubloon map. Oh, no. That not. would be oh. cool. It's on the cover of the the rule book and adventure guide, yeah. So that's the the doubloon. Yep. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Any comments there? We should. Uh, just address? people enjoying the movie. They enjoyed the game, and uh, they were all right. I won. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, Michael, the GM, won tonight. But the Goonies will have their revenge after all. We we'll never <laughs> say die. <laughs> this is true. So that was The Goonies Never Say Die by Funko Games. If you'd like to pick it up, the link will be down in the description below. And while you're down there, if you're watching on YouTube, please hit that like button. You've watched here all the way to the end. So you may as well hit like and subscribe to see more videos like this. And if you'd like to join us as we play live and interact with us, please watch us every Sunday evening, 6.30 p.m. PST on Facebook and Twitch. We'd love to have you join the party. Nice seeing you, Jason, Alex. Uh, oh, Corey, all you guys. Mm-hmm. I saw Serge on earlier yep. and yep. Bridget, a bunch yep. of others. And Peter Vaughn, nice Peter. to see you uh-huh. as always. Maybe we'll see you this next Saturday. Um, Joy stopped in for yep. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So, and, oh, and Josh, he yep. was very sad. He actually had his t shirt of the Goonies he was wearing today. Oh, and he's watching <laughs> the movie. Right? Oh. And he's watching the movie, yeah. He missed oh. this one. <laughs> I, I mean, he's, he's not really a big fan of the Goonies, so it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, we look forward to seeing you guys next time.